All right, coaches, welcome back to Bigs Rule the World. Um, as I get everything set up so we can get to our presentation here. Um, we're continuing our series this week on the spread, the mytho mythology behind the ideology, sort of diving into different guys who helped define spread football over the years and sort of lead to the creation of what we now know as the spread, quote unquote spread offense versus the spread formation. So we're diving into some of the guys who helped create it. Last time we went behind Houston Veer and went inside in Veer and broke that down X's and O's wise. We took off last week with the 4th of July holiday. And just being honest, I was on vacation out of town and would made it very hard to film our videos. But we're back this week talking a little bit about Dutch Meyer and TCU Horn Frogs and the spread formation of football book he actually put out back in 1952. Um, before we do that, got to pay the bills. If you are getting ready for your 2021 season, you want to become a big rule the world cl cl client. Yeah. If you want to become a big rule the world client, we create your drills, we create your indie practice plans, and we analyze where you can fix certain problems. I want to help you design how you can use your practice time more effectively. This is a very inexpensive feature, and really we're doing it based on how much you need. Uh, that's why I don't really have set prices or anything. But, guys, I'm not really trying to make a ton here. I just want to help coaches out. I love coaching football. We have affordable prices. Just shoot me an email, bigdrewtheworld at gmail.com. I don't care if you are coaching eight- and nine-year-old football and you need help figuring out how you're going to make your practice plans versus if you're coaching high school or semi-pro or small college football and you want to figure out how to make your practice plans, guys. The best play – the best plan of action for you all is to go and learn, okay? That's the best thing I've learned here. I'm getting ready to enter my 12th year as being a high school football coach. Um, I'm excited about it, but I've learned. You got to learn. Go learn from people, and that's what we try to do here on Big Drew the World. Okay, so today we're going over Dutch Meyer and the TCU spread of the early 1930s and 40s. Um to know Dutch Meyer, you have to know my head coach actually sent me a picture of this. I am jealous. He bought this book, Spread Formation Football, and talked talked to me how Dutch Meyer was running the spread formation as a base, was running the empty formation, really, and we'll see some video of that here soon, of a uh, uh, the empty formation as a base formation back in the 40s and 30s. You know, it's kind of wild. Dutch Meyer became famous for spreading the field out horizontally and really, you know, opening up the playbook. And we'll talk about some of his innovations, and we'll talk about the X's and O's more on our next episode. Uh, a little bit of history. Dutch Meyer is a horn dog through and through back in the early 20th century, so this is the 1900s. He's a water boy and mascot for TCU back when they were in located in Waco, Texas, eventually becomes a student, then a coach. He gets 11 varsity letters in three sports. He also, you know, he's nicknamed Old Iron Pants. I thought this was funny because he was basically a hard ass when it came to coaching. Um, he led his team to the 1938 National Championship as well as three-time Southwest Conference champions before becoming athletic director at TCU. And some of the innovations that he helped lead and form – Spread and wing formations, which we'll go through. I'll show you some of the video of what he did. Uh, the spread sweep, crossing routes, and sort of just horizontal stretch of the field. And we're going to see what he did compared to, and I'm going to give credit where credit is due. This is X's and O's lab film. I am not making a buck off this video. Just saying that now. I do this because I enjoy it. Um, but some old Dutch Meyer film right here. You'll see the white is TCU here. So he's got these two guys lined up here, almost two wingbacks here. They're going to stay in and block. So he's playing with three receivers, but it's forcing the defense to widen out. Where now he really has a 51 look. I think we'll actually have a guy come in here to give him 52. But you imagine back in the day only having seven guys in the box. And look at all the space right here, guys. Oh, my God, a spread guy. You're drooling right now. He even keeps those two wings in the block. So he only has three receivers out in the pattern running out of empty. And some of them did not touch a freaking soul as an offensive line coach says. And whew, but this is back in the days of where you can't use hands and you got shoulder block and all, you know, like that. 
Okay, and then we do some wing formations that look nasty like this. You see the quarterbacks way back there, about seven yards back. Uh, we do some nasty quads type formations. This is quads football back in the 40s, guys. Throw into the single side receiver because holy shit. I know I'm cussing too much. I really got to work on that. Uh, let me see. Didn't get it back. Let's run it back. Okay, but look. 1940s football, that's single. Single receiver's wide open. Be still, my air raid heart. Yes, I know it might be sacrilege for an offensive line coach to like the air raid. That's me. So one of the innovations is crossing around, taking people crossing the field. You got to remember back in the day here, you're probably seeing a lot of man-to-man -man defenses. We're just setting up. We're just dragging that backside receiver across the field. I know it's kind of grainy. I know I'm showing you a YouTube video of YouTube. I'm going to see if I can get... Ah, uh, we got more crossing around. I wanted to get you before you before I go. Counter. Yeah, the jump pass. My coach did tell me the jump pass was put in by Dutch Meyer, not by Urban Meyer. Sprint outs. All this stuff, guys, is being run on film. Where the film is going. He also. Just some stupid sweep stuff, really. Shovel pass. All these examples. Just nasty type of football stuff back in the 40s. And then this signature sweep that he has. So, actually, this is an old film where they took it away from him. Ah, not the Apopka spread. My dad was a Vietnamese refugee. Ah, get through the ad. Once again, I don't make any money off of this, but it's good stuff to see. Uh, but you'll see, it's almost like single wing wildcat type stuff where you're snapping the ball to your athlete and you're getting out wide. And now you have wings with angles. I know that's filmed from high school football back who knows when. But, you know, it all comes back into play with what Dutch Meyer helped create. And we're going to look at the advantages that spread and wing formations give you, especially compared to what Dutch Meyer had back in the 1940s on our next episode. Until then, guys, remember, if you want to win games, you got to put up points. If you want to put up points, you got to dominate in the trenches. If you want to dominate in the trenches, you got to know that. Big rule of the world. Until next time, coaches.